Hello everyone and welcome back to CGI Made Simple. In today's tutorial we will learn how to create a video using a 360 degree image right here in Adobe After Effects. Let's start. First you will need a 360 degree image or render. If you are not familiar how to prepare such image you can check out our video about this topic link will be in the description. You can also download the sample image that I will be using today from our Patreon page, if you don't have one. So, our goal is to transform this static image into a dynamic video. We have Adobe After Effects opened and let's start a new project. By drag and dropping the image here you can bring your 360 image into the project. Now right click your imported image in the project panel and select new composition from selection. Then in the new composition right click on the image and go to effect, perspective, CC environment. Now we need to create a camera. We can do it by right click here in the empty field, new camera. From the preset drop down list choose 15mm focal length. Thus we will have the largest view angle, but you can check different options. For this tutorial I will leave it at 15mm and press OK. Now we can see our scene. To navigate use the Orbit tool by clicking the C button and drag around the composition. It is like moving your head around in virtual reality. Let's make out our animation now. Move the timeline indicator to the beginning and click on the stopwatch next to position under the camera rollout to create the first keyframe. Now move the timeline indicator forward and adjust your view as you like. After Effects will automatically add a new keyframe. Keep repeating this until you are satisfied with the result. Once ready, you can select all your keyframes, right click and choose Keyframe Assistant and easy is to make the motion smoother. Now hit spacebar to preview your animation. Once you are happy with the result, you can export it. Just go to Composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Once the encoder is loaded and the project as well, just click here to adjust the render settings. We will leave it the default format, which is H.264. 264, which is a good quality and file size format. We can adjust the width and the height of the render output here. And just click on render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. We'll adjust as well the target bitrate and change it to 30 for better quality. Now click OK and let's adjust the output. Navigate to the place where you want to save your video. Rename it and press save. 
Now click this green arrow here to start the render. This may take some time depending on your project complexity. Once done, you can find your video in the specified safe location. You can now upload it to YouTube, share it on social media or send it to friends. And that's it guys, you have transformed a 360 image into a nice video. We would love to see what you create with this tutorial, so please share your projects in the comments below. If you find this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you did enjoy anything in this video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.